this video lecture i am going to run c sharp program in visual studio 2022 so in google search box write there visual studio after that move this site and uh, here you can uh, scroll down and you can get your visual studio and here this is for mac and here code so here you can see three type visual studio so i am going to download the profession you can try any one version and after that to uh, there you can get to uh, this exe file click on this save the file is uh, downloading the size 1.6 mb after that click on this exe file and now you can get your visual studio installer click on there now for visual studio c sharp to run the c sharp program inside the visual studio so here you need to select uh, this option dot net desktop development so there you can get your visual studio console application visual studio and here universe windows platform development so there you can also get your universe windows platform with c -Sum. so these two options that is required and after all selecting this click on there and now here you can get to uh, starting downloading this file size so here downloading and verifying the file size is 4.13 GB so it will take some time so I'm going to pause the video you can see Visual Studio installer professional 2022 the software that install after that click on this launch button so launch button and uh, thereafter here you can create the project so click on this create project and after that here you can see since that i selected uh, csop.net so here you can get uh, this is here csop and other language also there so we need to select uh, csop and uh, this is console application if you want then you can create the windows application and uh, there are so many things so there are two types of console application here console application dotnet framework and uh, here you can see console application project so this run on windows linux and Win uh, mac operating systems so anyone you can select there so after that after selecting this one click on this next here if you want then you can give the meaningful name of this console application so let's give here first and after that click on this next and uh, automatically that come dotnet or 6.0 version and after that click on this create so you need to wait for a few second so project is uh, creating additional information Now after that here you can uh, get this uh, information see HTTP and uh, program CS so now here I'm going to remove this one because that's uh, not required and after that uh, this is here first.cs if you want then you can run so if you run this then uh, let's uh, check the output so there is no any problem with the code and uh, here you can see hello world it's a display now after that uh, this is the first way and if you want then let's close this on and open uh, visual studio once again 
Visual Studio 2022. Open that. Now this time I'm going to create to new project. So that time that I selected to uh, there a console application that run on Mac and uh, uh, here if you want this is up and all platforms and here project tab so you can select here all project desktop console let's click on the console so there are two type of console that I used so this time I'm going to create or uh, that one now here let's give the name test and after that uh, let's click on this create So project is creating so like that you can create a C sharp uh, here or C sharp uh, console application windows application and here sp.net with C sharp you can also write the program so here or uh, this is the uh, so many number lines of code so here we need to use console cross dot right line method and after that let's clip here hello world and after that uh, let's click uh, close that control s to save run the code and uh, there is no any problem then you can get here so then after here that uh, didn't uh, stop this on the screen so for this we can use here start without debugging and after clicking this here you can get hello world so this is the way we can here run csr code inside visual studio 2022 so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.